the grid. We live in it, and sometimes we dream of escaping it, even when we know that might not really be possible. Over a decade ago, the Rene Sequencer first claimed to free us from the shackles of linearity, and it has continually strived not so much to free us from the grid as to trace new and malleable paths through it, even adding dimensions. We've been working on a new firmware for Rene that gives us one more way to break down some of the little walls between steps and locations. And Rene isn't primarily a gate sequencer. By default, Rene channels basically follow the gate width of their input clock. And in most cases, it puts out one gate per step. Of course, we can turn individual gates on and off. But it has more trouble if you want gates to persist between steps, creating ties or slurs. We can easily change all the gate outputs to triggers, but variable width gates is tougher. So we've added a new gate tying function to the Rene. The way it works is using the trigger option on the fun page, and also using the glide page. So if we go to the fun page and turn on triggers, we can now use the glide settings, not only to create glides between notes, but also tie those two notes together at the gate output. in a row have the same value, then it becomes just a tie without a glide. And if we glide several locations in a row, we can make very long notes. The gate won't go low again until it reaches a non-gliding location. This even means we can hold gate high for the entire snake pattern. Since the gate lengths are determined by how many locations the sequence passes through, we can change them up quite a bit by switching snake patterns. Everything done on the program page is this function is per channel, and we can use it on two or even three channels at once if we like. This can be expanded on further using the z-axis and the select buttons. This 
This firmware is available now, and you can find a link in the description. The package also contains a Tempe firmware that is required if you're using the Tempe and Renee together via this select bus. Here's a quick demonstration of how to install the Renee firmware. We start by setting the computer into airplane mode, opening the WAV file, and turning the output volume all the way up with a patch cable and the headphone jack. On the Rene, we're going to start with power off. We'll patch a cable from the X gate output to the X mod input. When we turn it on, this causes a short light show to happen. While it's happening, we move that cable from X mod to Y mod. This puts the Rene into a ready state, waiting for the WAV file. We patch the computer headphone out to the Z mod input. Press play. While the file is playing, we see a green light move back and forth across the top row. When it is finished, the Rene will boot up as normal. We can see the version indication by pressing the C button while on the global page. Happy patching!